What is going on guys? It is LEGO KC back with a brand new LEGO Movie 2 set. This is set 70840, Welcome to Apocalypseburg. 3,178 pieces, marking it as my second biggest set that I've built to date. Very, very excited to get this set. It was available a little early for VIP members on LEGO.com. And I know a few of you have already seen review videos of this, but I did get it a little early, have been working on it for a couple days. It is an extremely, extremely big and exciting set for me. 12 exclusive minifigures, Scribble Cop, Larry the Barista, Fuse, Where Are My Pants Guy, Roxy, Chainsaw Dave, Mohawk, Harley Quinn, Green Lantern, Batman, Lucy, and an exclusive Emmett all come in this set. And again, exclusive to 2019, exclusive to this set so far. Even though some of the minifigures do look familiar, we are getting a fresh look at them and a possible redesign of some of them. Now, just to give you kind of perspective of just how large this set is, it is sitting at 52.7 centimeters, 20.7 inches by 43.9 centimeters or 19.4 inches. Looking at the back, there's a lot of detail. You see down at the bottom is all of the minifigures. And we're just gonna kind of look into what we're getting ready to get ourselves into. You kind of see there's Emmett and Lucy sharing a coffee at the top, climbing up, Harley Quinn, just all of your minifigures kind of in action. Batman working out, of course. You see Batman, there's Harley Quinn going into jail. No surprise there. The Green Lantern escorting her, Batman giving a little help. A little lookout sign of course Emmett and Lucy together still there's a in Lucy's bed the cop bad cop in jail so I'm excited let's go ahead and crack this open okay open the book this is a very intimidating book now if you guys watched my Ninjago City build this book is actually if you take all three books and put them together this book is actually thicker and a sticker pack so they put how many bags were on the front so there's 18 bags after opening it there's way more than 18 bags there's a lot of little mini bags to each bag so don't let that fool you kind of see here just the thickness of the book and opening this up just like in ninjago movie ninjago city uh, you've got you know words from the creators every minifigure included as well as their backstory and probably what they do with the movie and there's a little lego movie video game that's going to be coming out so we've got a total of 454 pages let's see stepwise flipping through here stepwise we've got 756 steps so this is a very intimidating set stickers very large sticker pack there's about 60 stickers here that's quite a few so hopefully we get some printed tiles to kind of give us a break but let's get this built
right into the detail. We'll start with this first little room. There's several different sections here, but at first you've got, this is the coffee shop. As you can see inside here, it is just a little miniature post-apocalyptic coffee shop. And then over here, there's of course the police station. And this does build up. You got your sirens, almost like a, a police yard. And there's a basketball hoop made out of barbed wire. And then you got your gel cell door. And then going over the top of it here, you've got your seat. There's a little Harley Quinn sort of paper, a wanted poster. And then going up more into this detail here. We'll just move it over to the side before we get to the back. And I'll do a full 360. You see you've kind of got this little roof here. Bat merch, bat merch. This piece right here, which is on the side, you can tell that comes from, you see the Batitude. That comes from the Lego Batman movie Batmobile. It's the front end of that. Continuing to go up, you got this long chain here, hanging all the way down from the Statue of Liberty's beautiful, beautiful torch, as well as a platform. And there is moving ladders going all the way up and down this. So it is pretty mobile. Everything on the set is pretty mobile. Moving over, you see you kind of have this little lounge area. And I'll turn it here, close the coffee shop doors. Under here, you've got a broken down bus. And then signs that go lookout, coffee shop, and diner. So the diner is around back, which we'll get to. Lookout is, of course, the lookout up top. And then the Statue of Liberty's face moving back down. We've got another little platform because there's stairs that lead all the way up to pretty much every point you've got here. And then the coffee shop, if I didn't mention that before. There's a couple detachables here. There's this surfboard pieces, some accessories. Again, I just absolutely love this little bus that's under there. There. My finger took a little peek into the shot. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so we added another layer to the top here. This went on top of the coffee shop. So this is coffee unchained sign. There's some newspapers right here, which are printed little tiles. This is gonna be a barber shop. Looking into the barber shop, you see a couple mannequins. Just kind of showing what kind of hairstyles we do. We only do the mohawks here. Barber's chair. Reminds me a lot of like the Sweeney Todd. And then moving over, you've got kind of like a little armory. As you can see in here, this all moves right there. And it's just a, a little mini armory. Got a little balcony on it that sits right over the prison. And I'm gonna move, there's a layer that goes on top of this, but I'm just gonna add it on camera because there's something really interesting that I found here. And this may be a spoiler for the movie, so I do apologize, but I personally haven't seen it, so we're gonna discover this together. But I'm gonna turn this around here. There's some mail slots here. If I can get them propped open. These are ah, having troubles. So these are little mail slots here. And then there's a ladder leading because of course there's a roof, which I'm gonna get all that added. But what I really wanna show, this is obviously uh, Lucy's bedroom because looking in here, you see there's Warrior Kitty and a picture of Emmett. But I don't know if this is a spoiler or what, but if you lift Lucy's bed here up off, there is a letter to Lucy from what looks to be Batman. And then there's a picture of Batman under the bed as well as a pop Euler band, but what I really wanted to hone in on the fact that there's a picture of Batman and a letter that Lucy keeps underneath her pillow, at least in this set, I don't know if it's gonna be part of the movie, but it makes me question if, you know, Emmett and Lucy maybe have a falling out or Lucy and Batman get back together and Lucy and Emmett are no more, which would be an absolute tragedy to the Lego movie if Emmett and Lucy were no more. Now, let's add this third and final layer on here. And this is where the ladder leads up to. Right here, this is just a little hangout area, which is what Lucy's room leads up to here. So she can step out of her little curtains here, 
walk over and jump up top, and then from there continue the ladder up to the torch in the lookout room. All right, turning this thing over to the back, this looks like maybe, I'll let you decide, but this looks like a gymnasium. You got your little weight bench right there and going up to the top, you've got that all spins and moves like a punching bag. You got your little post-apocalyptic torn up doors and stuff. Those are all really nice stickers, but that leads me to believe that it's definitely a gym. And then pop this on right here. I, I like this little part. This is the restaurant, they call it, right here. And you've got your fries, there's eggs, and then your little sign, kebab with a hamburger on it. Some mechanics over here. Maybe a big bathtub or hot tub or some sort of bathing area. Bubbles coming out right here. So you kind of get the idea of what's going on there. A lot more stickers. Here's a, a little, this pops up fairly easily. And you kind of get access to the bottom there. Nothing crazy, but you can store stuff down there if you want. I guess that'd be your choosing. We've got a fish and a pole over here you see the little toolbox and there it is again the little car so we've made it completely around you got more bat merch over here and this is what the back of the statue of liberty's head looks like so a lot of detail in the set again here's some more views of the back you've got ladders going up that continue to go up there again is the front of the batman lego movie batmobile fire extinguishers, tools, and then the ladder that just continues to go up and they're all, they roll, they move on a track here. This little gray piece underneath, which I'm having trouble with right now, is a complete track and it does move. All of this is all, as you can see here, is the track that moves on. I'm just not being able to get it to move right now. And I don't want to pump that anymore. You see, this all moves. Let's, you see, he's got his little handcuffs here, shoulder pads, and then on the back here is Angry Scribble Cop. I love Scribble Cop. I think he is awesome. But going back to the front, we got Liam Neeson's character, Bad Cop. He's got his Awesome stylish police officer jacket and printed legs, brown gloves. So that is Bad Cop, Scribble Cop. Here we've got Larry the Barista. Got his Bane mask. There's a lot of detail in this little minifigure here. Shoulder pads, rocking the mohawk. So obviously there will be no back face on his minifigure. He's got his tattoo half sleeve going, rocking the half sleeve. That is Larry the Barista, working straight out of Coffee Unchained. Next up, we've got Fuse. Fuse is a new character. He's got it going on, very post-apocalyptic. He's got the eye patch, obviously from war, from battling. Well, not obvious, but I'm sure he's all scarred and beaten up, which is probably why he's got the welder's mask with him. The flames on the welder's mask. Can't help but wonder if he maybe helped build the Statue of Liberty Apocalypseburg. Pretty, pretty cool mini. Where are my pants guy is next. If it's anything like SpongeBob, he probably ripped him up to impress some lady out on the beach. He's got his... Nice little war hammer here. Moving around to the back. Shoulder blades printed, still has no pants. I'm sure Harley Quinn had something to do with this. And you can see here, part of his beard actually sticks out underneath his hair. So he's got two faces, a very like, kind of maybe embarrassed face because he just ripped his pants on the beach. And then he's got his cool, slick looking face on the front here. Angry studded out with his greased up hair like Elvis. And maybe a knee pad, a high sock, maybe he's got boots on, not sure. But I do know he doesn't have Roxy 
Foxy Roxy. I'll just give her a little nickname. Maybe we have Emmett's new girlfriend. I don't know. We'll have to see. But you can kind of see here she's got the shoulder blades too. I don't know. Emmett has a thing for girls with power. Girls more powerful than him. She's got her headband here. Some worn out look on her face. And then on the back is more of a war stricken angry face. Just ready for battle. On there and that is Roxy Chainsaw Dave you see he's got that big chainsaw with him nice barbarian looking torso tattoos he was obviously a surfer dude back before the apocalyptic days let's remove these blonde locks and you see he's just unsettled angry I'm sure he's probably gone some time without some food. And then another tattoo, the chainsaws. I wonder if these surfboards maybe belong to chain. Next one we've got here is Mohawk. Real original with the name. I can't imagine where they came up with that one. You see a lot of detail in here. A very spiky kind of staff that she's built as a weapon black mohawk a lot like Larry the barista sleeve on this side which is red and brown gloves sleeveless on this side you see the red X going over the leg pocket that is Harley Quinn we really don't need to go too much detail here this is Harley Quinn daddy's little monster you see the fishnet and everything, a lot of detail in here. The head piece itself has the makeup running down. Nice baseball bat. Accessory, red, white, and blue hair. Same with the back of the face here. You kind of see, let me get focused in here, sorry. Same thing, running makeup. You got the heart tattoo and the lipstick. Harley Quinn up to absolutely no good. No wonder what she's even up to. I can't wait to see what part she plays in the new movie. Next up, we've got another real original character, the Green Lantern, making another appearance in this movie. He didn't have much to do in the first one, but you can kind of see what the Green Lantern's rocking here with his shoulder pieces. He's even got some post-apocalyptic mods here. His back face is kind of a, a silly, goofy face. Reminds me a lot of the Teen Titans. Yeah, Lego, that's a hint at we're waiting on a Teen Titans set, okay? Preferably Teen Titans Go. But that is the Green Lantern for you. Next up is Batman. And they did say every minifigure in here is exclusive to this set, brand new for 2019. And if you guys remember the Battle Ready Batman and Metal Beard set, the Batman came really similar with the rubber, you know, shoulder pads and everything. So what I did was I just went ahead and we're gonna just do a side by side. So here is the two Batmans. This is the Batman Battle Ready, and then we've got the Apocalypseburg one. So you kind of see the difference in the legs, and of course the arms as well. This Batman's got some stuff down his arms, whereas this Batman is completely sleeveless. Everything else is exactly the same. So they really didn't change too much. If you see here, we've got two different faces, but I'll take the masks off both Batmans. They both have the same accessories, but you see their faces here, you turn them around, Bam, we completely swap. So it's the same exact Batman, literally everything is the same with the exception of the arms and the bottom part of the legs. I mean, even the cape's the exact same. I didn't expect them to go all out just because these two Batmans are extremely detailed and they really spent a lot of time and work doing these Batmans. So I didn't think there'd be too much of a difference, but I kind of wanted to show you that there is a difference and they are still exclusive. It's just not really that much. So that is the difference between these two Batman. First following Batman, we have Lucy. Okay. Lucy, just like in the other set, she's got this nice little scarf, her crossbow and her arrows on the back, taken off her hair. She's got two different faces. This is what's exclusive about this set, is the two emotions she's got on her face here. But you can see all the different details that she's got going on with the legs and the torso. 
Now, these minifigures, they are a lot similar, but they did, they did manage to change up the emotion. And I'm still sticking to my theory. I think we see a Lucy Batman kind of love scene go on in the new Lego movie. So hopefully I didn't spoil it for you guys. Hopefully I'm wrong, but just my observation. Last but not least, we have Emmett. Emmett with his coffee, he's coming straight out of Coffee Unchained. Quite frightened Emmett. Another exclusive Emmett. Again, everything torso is the same. Everything from front to back is the same. Same hair, we just have an exclusive emotion on the front, back, smiley face on the back, shrilled shrieking on the front. This is probably why Lucy maybe misses Batman, because Batman's more dangerous than Emmett. Emmett, he's kind of a scaredy cat, if you guys are familiar with the movie. So that wraps up our minifigures. That wraps up this entire gorgeous set. And if you guys like the video, don't forget, hit the like button. I will have a speed video coming, which I had mentioned earlier. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, both at Lego KC. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please don't forget to hit subscribe if you enjoyed the video. We'll see you later.